got the Hermes. I'm excited. Are you ready? Hi my angel, welcome back to a new video. If you are new, my name is Asia Marine. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It means the world to me. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something so freaking exciting. I'm pretty sure you can already tell by the title and the thumbnail. We are going to be unboxing my first pair of Hermes Oran sandals. I dreamt of days like this. <laughs> I'm super excited to share this experience with you. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? So of course, they came in this lovely Hermes orange shopping bag, and then they give you this complimentary fragrance. I saw one girl, she had got soap. I'm like, what freak? I would love so like that would be such a like aesthetic for your bathroom vibes. So this is what they gave me. I wonder what other little freebies they give. <coughs> Not the Hermes. So inside they give you two good amount of samples and a card. And then on both sides they give you a description. This is Hermes's Agar. Listen, I can't pronounce those, but this is one sample and it has the notes. And this is the other side with the name. Here are the sample bottles. And these are a pretty good size sample bottle. Like look at this compared to the paper. Should I smell them on camera? Because I am like a fragrance. Galore. Might as well, like why not? Um, which one is this one? This is the agar. Let me spread the back of my hand. It says an evolving sensual of two woods. Mmm. Oh, that is pretty. That one does. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of Airman scents, but that one does smell pretty good. Now here's the next one, and this is a toilette. And this is the Rosa Ikibana. This smells good. So you know what this smells like? This smells like a soap. I'm really into like the soapy scents this summer. So I will definitely be spraying these on. This one smells super good. The wood, mysterious sensual wood. I really, really am grateful for this. Now on to what you all are here for. This is the Iran sandals. And look how beautifully this is package and I love these boxes they're not like a regular shoe box they're more of like just a flat box and they give you your receipt in this envelope and on the back it just has the return and exchange policy and inside it's just we hope you love your new Hermes shoes return policy 30 days and then the receipt let's unbox it are you ready Oh my gosh. Okay, so here they are. Can you guys guess what color I got? Comment down below in the comment section. But they come separately packaged in two separate shoe bags. And these are really, really good quality shoe bags drawstring the classic logo hmm. all right I'm excited are you ready Wow, these are beautiful. Look at the craftsmanship on this shoe. This whole shoe is made of leather. Wow, look at the wood. And I love that this is all the color gold. Let's open 
the right shoe up. Mmm, and that leather smells good too. I can smell it. And then you can see like the hard padding on the heel. It's not any padding like up here in this area. The shoe is pretty hard. And <laughs> the shoe is pretty stiff. <laughs> so this is a very durable shoe. I did get these in a 40 and a half which I think is US 10 and a half because I do have wide flat feet. The length of the shoe when you size up isn't significant. It's really just focused on the width of this H. So the larger the size, the wider this H gets. That's why I was like, you know, let me just go a half size up because I know I have wide feet, but when I was watching the reviews, a lot of people say that with time, the leather is going to stretch. So hopefully it sculpts to my foot and fits like a glove. I am thinking about going to a cobbler to get like some rubber soles on the bottom of these shoes because once again, the whole shoe is leather and hopefully they cost no more than like $35 comment down below have you all taken your shoes to a cobbler and how much do they typically cost because I don't want to go nowhere and then like oh yeah $300 like no I saw another girl she said hers is like 40 then I saw another girl she said hers is like 50 so like what is the price range I want to show you all an upgrade like look at this <laughs> these are target inspired Hermes Aran sandals and these are in a 10 and they fit really, really well. But if you're looking for a really good Aran inspired shoe, I would suggest this sandal. And this is from Target and the brand is Universe Thread. Wow, look at the upgrade. <laughs> look at the upgrade great y'all this is crazy my first impression on these sandals are that they are going to get very 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 dirty at the bottom this is just from me wearing the sandals on my carpet it's little scratches and marks so yeah <laughs> but i mean i don't mind I plan on really wearing these shoes. I'm not here to baby them. We only have one line. So appreciate the things that you have now because you're the only thing that's not promised. These will be here if you leave today. So enjoy them, enjoy them. They'll be broken in with maybe the second or third wear. So hopefully this stretches out a little bit more because once again, I do have flat wide feet. Another impression that I'm noticing is from just by demoing it to you all, it's already a crease right here. So that means that these shoes are gonna crease easily as well. And I know that because of, this is smooth leather, if I had these in like the um, textured leather, you wouldn't be able to tell honestly. When it becomes like exotic and colorful, that's when they provide them in the smooth, I mean in the textured leather, but the neutrals, they don't. But I don't mind because I feel like, I don't know, like when you see, see people with their classic nudes and tones of the Iran sandals, the longer, that they age the better i do want to get these and maybe in a color and i do also want to purchase these in the black because i love <laughs> black slides especially on my skin tone they just complement me with a white toe i love it i don't necessarily think that i would ever i don't want to say never but i don't think i would ever purchase the white oran sandals because they, like if these shoes get dirty like this, imagine how the white is gonna crease. And I already have white feet. Like that's just oh no, <laughs> disaster. No, I'll probably get like a good ten wears out of those. Mm -mm. 
I am satisfied. I really, really can't wait to wear them. Comment down below if you own a pair of Aran sandals and give me some tips and tricks on, once again, the price of like, the price range of how much a cobbler, a shoe cobbler would be. Um, any tips and tricks on, I mean, not even how to maintain them because like, I know they're gonna get wear and tear, and so I'm not afraid to wear them. But any other suggestions, leave them down below. Even if you wanna share your tips and tricks, comment them, you may help someone else, even if it's not me. You thought you was about to be able to just leave freely without subscribing? Girl, now. Become an angel, become an angel and subscribe. That way you can join our weekly meetups where we sit, we chat, we have a good time, we talk fashion, we talk fragrance, we talk luxury here and there, here and there. I'm a newbie, I'm new to this, I'm not true to this. <laughs> also turn that post notification bell on, that way we can meet and you will be notified once a week two times if I got it in me. But thank you so much for watching me unbox my first pair of Orion sandals. I hope you enjoyed it because I know I have. But in the meantime, I'll see you later, child. Bye.